Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm presenting on the topic, Role of MR Mammography Kinetic Parameters for Clinical Prognostication in Female Breast Cancers. As we all know, contrast-enhanced MRI is the most sensitive method for female breast cancer diagnosis and is routinely used for pre-operative evaluation of newly diagnosed cases. In recent years, DC MRI has been utilized to enhance the specificity of MRI in identifying the breast lesions on MR imaging, morphological characteristics and patterns of contrast enhancement provide invaluable information, not only about the cancer histology, but also about the prognosis of the survival. Multiple methods exist for evaluating the kinetic enhancement pattern for breast tumor. For automatically analyzing the kinetic data and performing volumetric analysis of breast cancer, CAD systems have the benefit of being user-friendly and widely available in clinical settings. CAD technologies reduce the need for time-consuming activities such as technician or radiologists drawing the ROI manually. The relationship between kinetic parameters on CAD and histological characteristics of breast cancers have been investigated in our study. And furthermore, these kinetic features derived from CAD can be utilized to identify tumor aggressiveness, including hormone receptor status and histological grade. The aim of our study is to determine if just dynamic contrast enhanced MR imaging kinetic characteristics can predict tumor aggressiveness and survival outcome in invasive breast cancer. Evaluating the relationship between various kinetic measures and histopathological traits and associating them with disease reoccurrence. The study was conducted in Department of Radio Diagnosis at Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute, and our study was retrospective one, which included 130 patients. And patients who underwent DC MR imaging at our institute were subjected and then further subjected to surgery and subsequently proved malignant after the HP confirmation. And as well, uh, their molecular subtypes known were, including, uh, were included in our study. Patients who could not be followed up for even a year were excluded from a study. MR imaging was performed using a 1.5 Tesla Simons Evento magnetong machine with a dedicated bilateral phase array breast coil with the patient in prone position. And the MR imaging examination consisted of T1, T2, STIR sequences, BWI, and DC sequences at 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7 minutes. The DC MR images were transferred to a CAD system, that is ZADVISTA, that analyzed the signal intensities within each voxel of the FOV obtained during the dynamic sequences. According to ACI Bilet's MR lexicon, kinetic patterns are defined as, uh, they're basically divided into two, uh, the early enhancement patterns and the delayed enhancement patterns. In early enhancement patterns, we have rapid as well as medium uptake. Rapid uptake means relative enhancement increase was more than 100% of pre contrast image and medium uptake when it was 50 to 100%. In delayed kinetic, we have persistent, plateau, and washout. Persistence means continuous increase in signal over time. Plateau means a signal intensity that does not change over time after initial rise. And washout when the signal intensity decreases by more than 10% after its initial highest point uh, of rise. So in our study, we included 130 patients, and out of which 25 cases uh, show reoccurrence, and just 125 uh, shows no reoccurrence. The CAD reports included the following three kinetic curve patterns, type one, which is delayed persistent enhancement pattern, type two, which is delayed plateau enhancement pattern, and type three, which is delayed washout enhancement pattern. The interpreting radiologist wrote the CAD reports prospectively, and when an operator selected the image slice with the biggest diameter, a square ROI of the entire tumor was automatically segmented. In the study among subjects with reoccurrence, 100% of them had rapidly early enhancement pattern, and among subjects without reoccurrence, only 85.7% patient had rapid enhancement patterns, and there was significant association between reoccurrence and early enhancement patterns, as we can also see in this chart. In the study, among subjects with reoccurrence, 100% of them had washout, and among subjects without reoccurrence, 85.7% had washout, 12.4% had persistent, and 1.9% plateau pattern on delayed imaging. 
there was significant association between delayed enhancement pattern and reoccurrence as well. A higher washout component may be caused by the higher vascular permeability due to increased expression of vascular endothelial growth factors, which is frequently found in rapidly growing tumors, as we can also see in this chart. Breast tumors that tested negative for ER, that is estrogen receptor, PR, uh, progesterone receptor, and HER2 nu were categorized as triple negative. Triple negative tumors are more frequently presented with, uh, usually present at advanced stage at diagnosis as the aggressive tumors. In the study among subjects, the occurrence of breast cancer, 56% had TNBC, and among subjects with no reoccurrence, 24.8% had TNBC. So there was significant association in TNBC and reoccurrence with p-value of less than 0.005. In above study, a comparison was also done between TNBC and kinetic patterns. However, no significant association was found between these variables. Now, coming to the cases, uh, as a case study one shows, contrast enhanced MR in a 50-year-old female, non-circumscribed irregular shaped heterogeneity enhancing lesion in right breast upper quadrant Using CAD software, first of all, we generating the overlay maps in which we can see the red color, which represented a washout pattern being the highest pattern in this uh, lesion. And putting the ROI on this lesion, we can see a rapid enhancement curve with washout. And moreover, uh, follow-up at 24 months, this patient presented with new node in the axilla, which was proven to be the occurrence. Now, shown here is a homogeneously enhancing circumscribed lesion in right breast with ROI applied on the most suspicious area. And we can see the rapid initial peak enhancement, how in delayed kinetic persistent patterns is seen. Now, another case of a 46 year old female presented with left breast lung in 2017, proven to be IDC. On DCE MR, an irregular shaped heterogeneity enhancing lesion is seen in outer upper quadrant of left breast, which shows rapid early enhancement and washout on delayed kinetics. On further scan done in 2018, post op changes are seen with no enhancing lesion, but on further follow-up in 2019, we can see another heterogeneously enhancing lesion, which was proven to be the reference again. So as I have already told, the pre-op scans shows the type three kinetic pattern with rapid rise and delayed washout pattern. So we have seen the DCMR in pre-op breast cancer patient are not only utilized to assess the local extent of disease and assist in surgical and treatment planning, but these kinetic characteristics can also broaden the ability to use DC MRI to non-invasively describe the underlying tumor architecture, biology, and function in the breast cancer patient undergoing preoperative evaluation. Since the study is retrospective type conducted in single institute, it may have introduced selection biases. However, this is one of the novel and major studies which has coded kinetic curve pattern on DC MRI with disease reoccurrence. Currently studied done can be supplemented with other variables in future. Thank you.